Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Abby and today is an interesting video. I've never actually done one of these before. I write about this on a couple of my social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram. I take part in this little thing called Influencer. If you did not know what that is, I actually found it on Tumblr like years ago. Like I've been a part of Influencer for a few years now, probably like three or four. So Influencer is this really cool program. I actually just have the app up right now on my phone. Basically, you can get sent product to review, whether that's makeup products, which is something that I get a lot, hair care products, skin care, what else do they offer, like pet products, kids products, so many different things. Um, you get sent it for free or complimentary for reviewing purposes, and it's super cool. Over the years, I've had plenty of what they call Vox boxes. So here, I'll show you what a Vox box is. So this is one that I'm actually talking about today that I'm doing now. So here you can see we have the Vox boxes right here. This is my VDL Vox box that I'm gonna be talking about today. You can click on a badge and you complete different tasks um, to earn points and then you earn badges. The more badges you have, the more likely you are to get more Vox boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> the more reviews you do, the more likely you are to get Vox boxes and the more followers you have, wow. So the more of an impact you have on social media, the more likely it is that you get Vox boxes as well, which is really cool. So, recently I was sent a very cool new Vox box from Influencer. When I got the email, it just said a primer and a foundation. So I was super excited. I've never tested primer and foundation sent to me from Influencer before. I've only tested like skincare. I know I've tested lip product, mascara, hair care, stuff like that. I've tested a couple of food products too, which was super cool. But I was sent, and this is the box that came in. There's other stuff in the box now as well because I have no room for makeup anywhere. But I was sent the VDL New Perfect Lasting Foundation. Um, VDL is a Korean beauty brand, which is awesome. I've never actually tried any K-beauty before. I have used these products, but I thought that I would make this little video showing you guys how they work on my face. I thought that I was just being sent foundation and primer, but you have like a cream blush, you have two primers, I have a foundation, I have a setting spray, I have a lip product, I have eyeliner, I have three eyeshadows, and I have a makeup remover. Like, so much stuff came in this little Vox box, so thank you, Influencer, you are amazing, and thank you, VDL, for pairing with Influencer for this, because I am the most excited. So, before I started, I did moisturize my face with the Pixi, what is it called, like the Milky Mist Hydration Spray? Makes my skin feel real nice, but we are going to prime. Cool. Do you like my Mickey pretzel? <laughs> I love it. We have the VDL Lumi Layer Primer, which is super pretty. There's also another primer in there. It's more pink toned. I like this one more. It does give me more of like a glow underneath my foundation. I take a lot of primer as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit, a little bit, I say as I'm globbing it on my face. Wrap everything for the face of makeup that I'm putting on today. Especially because I am recording two other videos after this. So look, look how shiny my face is because of this. It definitely is like a lumin an illuminating, there we go. It definitely is an illuminating primer. And I'm gonna ruin it in a couple minutes because I powder, powder, mm -hmm. I powder my entire face, so that's fun. And of course, next going to take the VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation. I have it in the shade A02, which I think is like the second palest shade. They had quite a few shades to pick through when I was selecting it. Also, another warning, I put on a lot of this because I like some high coverage. Also, this is gonna be a full face, well, an almost full face of using these products just because it doesn't come with like a powder or a concealer and your girl has to conceal and powder. Also, sorry if you can see my bra through my shirt, not sorry. I'm a woman, I wear bras, that's the that on that. But this shirt's a little see-through, that's okay. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just start blending that out. It is a really like dewy foundation, which is something I don't usually go for, mainly because I do have a lot of oils around my nose and on my forehead, my nose mainly. So I don't usually go 
for dewy prime primers oh my god dewy foundations I mean usually I'm a matte kind of girl but I do really like this I've used it almost every single day since I got the product it definitely matches pretty well and the coverage is pretty good for a dewy prime oh my god not primer for a dewy foundation a lot of the time I feel like you lose some coverage I am literally like all out of my Tarte Shape Tape so I went out and got two Maybelline concealers that looks really dark better got fair I did first I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Eye for Dark Circles this is like my favorite drugstore concealer now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline is it the fit me concealer fit me concealer in ivory that's more like it look how bright that is it's just not as good for coverage and i also found that it kind of burns my eyes <laughs> yep it's starting to burn cute 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 all right so now that i am concealed i'm going to be using the cream blush I'm not a huge fan of cream products and super dewy products and stuff but I actually found that I really do like this blush and it's gonna look insane until I powder my face just warning you it's called a creamy stick jelly I'm assuming it means blush because I've been using it for blush it's working great I have no idea what the shade is because it doesn't have it on here and I threw out the box there we go, the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly. And I am just going to take that, do my blush face, which is when I smile a little bit, and make myself look like a doll. <laughs> just momentarily, don't worry. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I am going to pat that out so it looks a little less crazy. But once I put on my powder, then it looks really nice and kind of actually like a natural blush. See, it looks less crazy. Not like, hey, you look completely sane right now, but like you went a little too heavy on your blush. <laughs> okay, hopefully the angle isn't too different. I have a feeling it is very different, but that's fine. Um, anyway, since that happened, I have some creasing going on. Need to pat that out really quick. And the next thing to do is powder. Again, they didn't send me a powder, so I am going to be using my own. Right now, I am using a mixture of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 05 Fair. And then I'm also using my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NW10. Gonna pack a bunch of that powder on my Beauty Blender and pat that bottom of my eye. Really lock in that concealer and foundation so it does not move in. I also use the loose powder on my eyelid and the side of my nose and the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to take my powder brush, swirl that in the MAC Studio Fix and then just powder the rest of my face set all that makeup in and you can see after powdering just how like natural that blush looks now it doesn't look like overbearing or like insane it actually looks nice <laughs> all right i am going to contour and bronze but i'm not going to show you guys that just because that doesn't have anything to do with the vdl products neither really did the powdering and stuff but i wanted to show you guys how underneath powder the blush actually looks pretty natural and nice also i have to say their products make your skin feel so soft even with makeup on like you know how sometimes if you're a makeup wearer you feel powdery like when you touch your face it's not like that with this it's just so nice i could touch my face all day which is so bad that is how i am going to get acne if i keep touching my face with this makeup on <laughs> gonna contour and stuff and i'll be back okay now that i am bronzed looking more alive and stuff we are gonna get into the eyes. So I am gonna put just on a base color from my Sofax Revolution palette. Just a transition shade in my crease. And apparently a little bit on my eyelid, fun. Now that we have that down, it doesn't look the greatest, but that's fine. We are gonna go in with one of the Expert Color iBook Mono M, which is basically just the VDL eyeshadows. Here is what it looks like. It is in the shade Cherry Wood. I think it's a really pretty color. 
it's really rich, really deep. Um, probably really easy to overdo, which I definitely did the first time I used it, I'm just saying. But we are gonna use that just to deepen up that crease. We're not gonna go too crazy, but we're gonna deepen it up a little bit. By the way, I didn't even mention this, but my Chromecast is on, so that's why you're seeing all these different pictures over here. It's not like I have a slideshow of pretty places in the world. It's just my Chromecast. Also took a tiny bit of uh, the shade Cheesecake right here, and just to blend it in, just to kind of like connect the colors a little bit more. They're actually very similar, those two shades. It's just that cherry wood is definitely a bit deeper. This is what we have so far for the eyes. The other eye color that I'm gonna go in from VDL is called Organza. And it is like this gorgeous goldy pink shimmer. Do you see that? So pretty, and I found that it applies best with a finger. Look at right there. See my finger like pop? That was weird. That's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. And you probably can't see, but it does just add just a beautiful like glitter to your eye. I don't know. When you swatch it on your hand, it like looks insane. I don't know. If you're not gonna be able to see that properly. Come here. No, you can't really see how pretty it is, but it is gorgeous. And the glitters do kind of like spread everywhere on the eye look too. So like, it's hard to keep them contained. Like I just put them on the eyelid here and they're already up in the other colors, but that's fine. I think that it makes it look really pretty and I love it, honestly. Oh. The last eyeshadow that they sent me, I'm actually not going to use, but I wanna show you guys a little swatch of it. This is called Shark Skin. And I just don't know how I'm ever gonna use this, but it is super cool, so here. You see that? It is so cool, and I just don't know where and when I will ever use this, but I will find a way. It is so pretty. So I will be using two eyeliners in this video. I will be using the one that they sent me and I will be using my regular Kat Von D tattoo liner because this one I find is really hard to work with. I love how black it is. I love how matte it is, but it is so hard to work with because of the uh, brush on it. It is a felt tip liner, but it actually does dry pretty quickly from the tip. See, it's super dark, like it's super black, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see. It looks like shit. I hate it. I hate it so much. Also, I'm definitely going to do the inner corner of my eye with my regular eyeliner because this bleeds so much in the inner corner. Like, it goes into my little eye wrinkles in my inner corner, and it's just a bad time, so... I'm going to have to fix that up so bad. That is so... Horrific. Yeah, in case you can tell, I really don't like the eyeliner. Um, another thing with the eyeliner is that, like with the Kat Von D, and I have it on like my face, and I go like this, it literally feels like how it sounds, a tattoo. Like it just feels like it's part of your skin. With this, you can feel like the bump of the eyeliner. Like you can feel that there's product there. So I don't know. It's not my favorite, but I, it will like do for now. One thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of concealer and try to clean up the bottom of this wing. The eyeliner's just a mess. I just have to come to terms with the fact that the eyeliner is just not going to look good because I used this one. These are huge wings. I was not going for this today. I just wanted something simple and pretty and then I got all of this. Anyways, that's all I'm doing with the eyeliner because I cannot handle this. Obviously there was no mascara scent, so I am going to do my eyelashes and be back. Hopefully I look a little bit better just by putting on eyelashes. I'm just a bastard, orphan, son of a whore, go on and on. 
you reliable with the ladies. Now that my eyebrows are done, it is time to highlight. I was going to put on the lip today, but it doesn't really go with this eye look. I will put a picture right here of me wearing the liquid lipstick. It's really comfortable and it's really nice. You can make it either pretty dark or actually like really light and kind of like an orangey red where it looks like it's like a spring look. It's really nice. But right now I am gonna go in with the Expert Radiance Fix Mist just to lock everything in place and then I'll fan it into place and then highlight. It's definitely not like a MAC Fix Plus where it's like really, really, really wet and stuff, but it does its job. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it's like the best setting spray that I've ever used, but I do like it. Okay, so with highlighter and everything, this is the entire face done. As you can see, it is not just because of the highlighter, but very shiny, very dewy looking. Just like looking alive and healthy. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think of the products? I honestly really love the products other than the eyeliner. The eyeliner is the only thing that I was sent that I don't like, but literally every single other thing I love. The eyeshadows work great. The foundation is amazing. I was already talking about that before in the video, just how nice of coverage it is. And even though it's dewy, it's not like too dewy where it's like the oils in my skin make it like melt off my face. Works really well. I am surprisingly like I love the blush so much that I actually use it with other foundations too. Both the primers I really do like. I do like the whiter one rather than the pink toned one just because it does add a little bit more shine to the face and a little bit more of like a glowing within kind of a look. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Another huge thanks to Influencer for sending me those products complimentary for reviewing purposes. Honestly, I love Influencer so much because I get to try really amazing products actually. One time they did send me Reese's Pieces and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and like mini Reese's Peanut Butter Cups with Reese's Pieces in them and it also came with a Bluetooth speaker. It was so cool. I love Influencer. Um, I'm actually going to leave an invite link below if you guys want to join Influencer. It's not like an affiliate link. I don't get paid or anything for it, but, but it does give me like one more point of like an impact if a friend of mine does join it through my link just letting you know ahead of time so you're not like thinking that I'm trying to get something out of it. I just think that it's a really freaking cool program and that you guys should probably try it out. So I will leave my link down there. Other links that are going to be down there are all of my social media where I do post all of the things that I do get on Influencer. So my Twitter, my Instagram, I also have my Discord down there. You guys should join all of those things. They are awesome. We have fun. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Oh, I also never addressed this. I was hiding this, like, hopefully hiding it enough the whole video, but my nail is breaking. I need to go get it fixed, so, band-aid. Anyways, <laughs> love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!